Introduction to XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination The XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination is a globally recognized certification program for welding inspectors. This examination is designed to test the knowledge and skills of individuals who are involved in the inspection of welded joints. The certification is awarded by the Certification Scheme for Welding and Inspection Personnel, SWIP, which is a division of the British Institute of Non-Destructive Testing, BIND. The SWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination covers a wide range of topics, including welding processes, welding defects, welding symbols, and welding procedures. It also includes questions on safety, quality control, and non-destructive testing techniques. The examination consists of two parts, a written exam and a practical exam. Obtaining a XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Certification can open up many opportunities for individuals in the welding industry. It is highly valued by employers and can lead to higher salaries and better job prospects. However, passing the examination requires thorough preparation and a solid understanding of welding principles and practices. In the following sections, we will discuss some tips and strategies for preparing for and passing the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination. 2. Preparation for the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination Before taking the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination, it is essential to prepare thoroughly. The exam covers a wide range of topics related to welding inspection, including welding processes, welding defects, and welding symbols. Therefore, it is crucial to have a solid understanding of these concepts before sitting for the exam. One of the best ways to prepare for the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination is to review the course materials thoroughly. This includes studying the textbooks, lecture notes, and any other relevant study materials provided by the training center. It is also helpful to take practice exams to get a sense of the types of questions that will be asked on the actual exam. Another important aspect of preparation is to ensure that you are familiar with the codes and standards that are relevant to welding inspection. These include the American Welding Society, AWS, codes, the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, standards, and the British Standards Institution, BSI, codes. Familiarizing yourself with these codes and standards will help you answer questions related to welding procedures, welding documentation, and welding quality control. Additionally, it is essential to have practical experience in welding inspection. This can be gained through on-the-job training or by participating in a welding inspection course that includes hands-on training. Practical experience will help you understand the real-world challenges of welding inspection and how to apply theoretical knowledge to solve practical problems. Overall, preparing for the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination requires dedication, hard work, and a willingness to learn. By reviewing course materials, studying codes and standards, gaining practical experience, and taking practice exams, you can increase your chances of passing the exam and becoming a certified welding inspector. 3. Tips for taking the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination When it comes to taking the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination, there are a few tips that can help you perform your best on test day. First and foremost, make sure you have a good understanding of the exam format and content. This means reviewing the exam syllabus and familiarizing yourself with the types of questions that will be asked. It's also important to manage your time effectively during the exam. Make sure you read each question carefully and allocate your time wisely so that you have enough time to answer all of the questions. If you get stuck on a particular question, don't spend too much time on it. Move on and come back to it later if you have time. Another tip is to practice using past exam papers or sample questions. This will help you get a feel for the types of questions that will be asked and give you an idea of how to approach them. You can also use this as an opportunity to identify any areas where you may need to brush up on your knowledge. During the exam, make sure you read each question carefully and pay attention to any specific instructions or requirements. Don't rush through the questions, take your time and make sure you understand what is being asked before answering. Finally, don't forget to stay calm and focused during the exam. Take deep breaths and try to relax if you start feeling anxious or stressed. Remember, the more prepared you are, the more confident you will feel on test day. 4. After the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination After completing the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination, it's important to take some time to reflect on your performance and plan your next steps. First, you should wait for your results to come in, which typically takes a few weeks. Once you receive your results, take note of your score and any areas where you may have struggled. 
this will help you identify areas where you need to improve if you plan on retaking the exam. If you pass the exam, congratulations! You can now start applying for welding inspector jobs or consider taking additional certification courses to further advance your career. Keep in mind that continuing education is crucial in this field, as new technologies and techniques are constantly being developed. If you did not pass the exam, don't be discouraged. Use this experience as a learning opportunity and focus on improving your knowledge and skills in the areas where you struggled. Consider taking additional courses or seeking out a mentor who can provide guidance and support. Overall, whether you passed or failed the XWIP 3.1 Welding Inspector Examination, it's important to stay motivated and committed to your career goals. With dedication and hard work, you can achieve success in this challenging but rewarding field.